one, Monterey, the number one basketball team on the Central Coast, roared into Seaside this evening, taking on the six-ranked Spartans. And is this a happy Valentine's Day? I don't know. Watch Thad Wiley, though, for Seaside. He had 16 points tonight, cans the shot. Bobby Cowson, a terrific evening, had 20 for Seaside. Henry Lusk, there he is, getting the bucket. A great night for Henry with 19 points. Randy Randall then watches Robbie Johnson can it. Uh, Sam Smith was urging his guys on. They did come back, but the final tonight went in favor of Monterey, 79 to 72. And here's Seaside guard Bobby Cowson. We missed our important free throws. I missed two winning ones, and when we let them get their run, what they took up, they passed us up. I don't know. We didn't play strong the whole game. Well, this is um, this was a big game for us, and it's our arch rivalry. So we wanted to come in, get this win, and we'd be uh, sure that uh, we'd be sure that we at least be co-champs. And Monterey proved they are worthy of number one tonight. Well, this was not just a big day for Monterey, but also for star athlete Henry Lusk as well. Henry, as you know, plays a good game of hoop, but his main sport really is football. Several universities have been recruiting Henry, including Pac-10 Arizona. But tonight, Henry went with his heart. He is going to Utah. I was assistant coach of Arizona, got the head coaching job at uh, Utah, and uh, he's been close friends with my family for a very long time. And when I heard about his move, I was, you know, I was kind of debating on which school to go to. And, you know, I talked to him, and you know, Utah is a choice. I went up there, took a trip, and I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was fun. The guys are very nice, and I think that's the place I want to be for four years. And good luck to Henry Lusk. Uh, other scores on the high school front tonight. Santos Carrillo, 21 points. North Salinas Vikings top the Cowboys. And junior college hoops. How about it? Jim Forkham's uh, crew, six Panthers in double figures. Scott Pissick at 25. Jamie Calderon, notch 23. And Hartnell a winner tonight over Ohlone. Well, the Warriors get up off the mattress tomorrow night after a long NBA All-Star layoff. Golden State will load up for the Bullets tomorrow night in Oakland. However, tonight in Orlando, Florida, the bride and groom were dressed up for Valentine's Day. The couple unknown, but there was no love in the eyes of Magic coach Matt Gukas. Sidney Green had to restrain his coach after Gukas was tossed out of the ball game. The big surprise, the outcome of this game, the Magic went overtime to bully the Bulls. The final 135 to 129 in favor of Orlando. And that is a surprise, ladies and gentlemen, elsewhere. Check this out. Game just over. Double overtime. The L.A. Lakers are beaten by the Trailblazers of Portland. Now that should be a signal of what's to come in the later season. Well, baseball Commissioner Faye Vincent wanted to give it the old Avis rent-a-car push and try harder. But the Players Union doesn't want to buy it. Basically, the ball players want a cut of the revenues they think they deserve. And the owners don't want to share what they want. Therefore, guys like Mike Aldretti of Seaside and the Montreal Expos We'll keep working out on their own. By the way, Mike will join us here on KMST tomorrow night at 6. You won't want to miss it. How about the winds blowing in the second round of the Spanish Bay Pro-Am today? Boy, it was bone chilling out there on the links at Spanish Bay, but one foursome burned up the course, and it is led by professional Ray Areno of Sacramento. His team, along with the amateurs, Bartis, Marotti, and Caritas, all shot 58. They are in at 119 after two rounds. The best pro today, Jay Walkinshaw, an assistant at Spanish Bay. I played with that group today, and Jay did play mighty well handling that wind. Ray Areno is second, and West Hillser out of Plano, Texas, in the Glen Eagles Country Club, shot an 83 today. And finally, last but not least, the love connection in sports, Valentine's Day. And it's really special to all of us in some way. And we backtrack now to a couple of great friends for our KMST Happy Valentine's Day salute. Now, you know what day it is today, don't you? It's Valentine's Day. This Henry. is my gift. Henry's your Valentine, huh? Right. He's my Valentine. He's my number one son. I'm very proud of him, too. How about a big kiss for Mom, Henry? <laughs> Congrats, you. you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to the Lusk family. They're really a terrific group. And we wish Henry all the best uh, up in Utah. And he'll be sure playing do. right near his buddy, Robbie Johnson, the other great basketball player who's going to Weber yeah. State. That's so great. congratulations. Ah, all right. Nice That's story. Nice. And maybe somebody else.